Hey everybody, in this video we're going to continue off our platformer lessons. I'm going to add ladders in. Uh, believe it or not, the ladders ended up being a little trickier than I thought to code in because I was trying to keep it so short and seeing is there a way to keep this super short and the answer was no, there wasn't a way to keep it super short but it's not that bad. So let's take a look at ladders and how to implement them. First of all, let's explain some of the rules of the way I've coded this. I always have a ladder piece start directly above a wall piece or a block and the ladder goes right up on top of the block. So there's a ladder piece and a block there. That's where ladders end or ladders can just end like that as well. When I jump, I cannot jump and press up and go right onto the ladder. I have to go from the base of the ladder. You can change that if you want after. And when I come to the top of the ladder, you can see this number zero here. It's actually keeping track, am I on the ladder or not? It turns to zero, I'm off the ladder. And you can see it's a one when I'm on the ladder. It's a zero when I've hit the bottom. So you can definitely detect when I'm in a ladder climbing state and when I'm not. Okay, so let's see how I've coded this. I actually just have all the code here. I'm not gonna type it out. I'll just walk you through the basics. So here we go. One thing I've done with the player is I've given them a variable called on ladder and I've set it to false. One reason I want to know if they're on their ladder or not, it just has to do with gravity and some of the other features you might code later on. It's nice to know the state of the player. Are they climbing a ladder? There's certain things they should or should not be able to do when they're on a ladder. So it's a nice variable to add in there. On ladder false, they are not climbing up or down the ladder. Okay. So let's go to the step method where basically everything is. So I get in here now. Here's our code from before. Um, if you did the other tutorials before this, right? Like the gravity, the jump, and the double jump. We apply gravity, maybe jumping, try to move in the y direction, and there's the x direction now, left or right, and try to move in the x direction. Now that's just for normal gameplay when they're not in a ladder. What I'm gonna do for the ladder here is I'm gonna basically write ladder code. And it's not that long, that's it right there. So longer than I thought, but this is pretty flexible what you can do with it later. So here we go. First thing I want to write up the start. If on ladder is true, and I'm going to be taking out the true and falses as I go here to clean this up, but if on ladder is true, so if on the ladder, and I'm not meeting a ladder at my current x, y, then on ladder should become false. Okay? I don't want to be on the ladder anymore, right? I've come off. So this is maybe climbing up the ladder. I move left or right. I've fallen off of it. Once I'm off the ladder, gravity is going to be able to take effect again. You're going to see later on here, part of my gravity code is saying only apply gravity when I'm not on the ladder. So it's another good reason I'm using this on ladder uh, state variable. Get on the ladder climbing up. Now, how do I know I'm allowed to get up a ladder? Well, if I'm meeting the ladder and one pixel beneath me there's a wall. So I know I'm basically at a ground level. I'm walking on top of a wall piece. This means I'm at the ground, at the bottom of a ladder. So if the keyboard's also pressing the up key, I switch my variable on ladder to true. So I'm now on the ladder. I do something very similar for climbing down the ladder. <clears throat> if I place meeting one pixel beneath me a ladder and the key is down, then I'm now going down the ladder, so on ladder is true. Now the reason I go one pixel beneath my current location is when you're walking on that platform left and right, maybe I should just have this running as I go here, the ladder, you're never going to actually cross it, right? It's one little pixel beneath you. So let me just double jump up here. Uh, so when I'm in this case right now, moving left and right, you'll see that zero. Right, that's following me. I'm not on the ladder. I'm still not on the ladder, but when I press down, it knows there's a ladder piece right here, one pixel beneath me. Right, so again, this place meeting is a very, very, very popular uh, thing you're going to see in the code here. Okay, and so I also go on the ladder. Now, why do I bother keeping track of on ladder? Well, because when I press up and down now, I want to know if I'm on the ladder when I'm pressing up and down. So when on ladder is true, and I can just take that out. That's the same, right? If on ladder and the keyboard is being pressed up key, what I do is I move my player three up. I know that I've designed my levels in a way where 
my player, if they're on a ladder, can move up. Now, the situation here that I'm about to check is going to be this one right here. Let's say I'm coming up the ladder. I want to know when I'm off the ladder, and I want to be placed perfectly at the height of the wall pieces, right? So I'm working, walking dead flat, no gap here, right? No funny stuff when I leave the ladder. So what I've done is as I move up, I'm trying to detect here if after I move three pixels up, if I'm not meeting a ladder anymore, well, that must mean I've sort of, you know, gone up so high that I'm off the ladder. So on ladder becomes false. I'm not on the ladder anymore. And this little code loop, which is common from the last tutorial or two. Uh, so go back if you can't figure this one out right here. But basically what I want to do is I've probably gone a pixel or two or three too high above the wall piece. What I want to do is come back down one pixel at a time until I hit the ladder, or I guess I could have done a wall piece there as well. So while not meeting a ladder piece one pixel beneath me, come down one pixel. And what that does in the game here is if my character comes up the ladder, let's say you're climbing a speed of seven and you're making big seven pixel jumps, you're going to be up in the air a bit. I want it to come down in this while loop and be perfectly flat right there. Okay, so that's my exit point, and you can see it turns to zero and has moved me to the contact point. That's basically that while loop there. Now, that's basically the climbing up and getting off the ladder, right? And changing back to on later false. Here's climbing down, which is a little more involved. I found that coming down was a little harder because if you actually look at the map, when you're climbing down, I didn't want to go down into that brick, right? See, I'm still technically overlapping a ladder piece. So it'd be common beginner code to say, well, if I'm touching a ladder, I'm allowed to go down. But I don't want to keep going down, even though my character is touching the ladder. I have to be able to detect that there's wall pieces here. And if that's the truth, then I want to move right to the contact point, right, the perfect height, and set my variable to zero. I'm not on the ladder anymore, so then I can, you know, do all my regular movement and jump in again. So here we go. If I'm on the ladder and I'm pressing down, I make these variables, wall ID, and it's okay. Wall ID is going to try to capture the ID of the wall piece that's just beneath me, if it's there. It's okay is going to be a variable that records true or false. I started at false, and it's just remembering, is it okay to move down or not? So I'm going to assume no, false, it is not okay to move a couple pixels down, climbing down the ladder. i got to prove it's okay to move before I move here. So here we go. Wall ID equals instance place. Now if you haven't used this command, this is going to go three pixels beneath me and check for an instance of a wall. If it's there, it's going to send me back an instance ID number, right? The ID of that instance of the wall. And so it's going to be a big number, like a million or above. If there's no wall there, this wall ID variable is going to end up being negative 4 or below 0. Okay, it's easy to check. So here I'm just asking if when I try to grab the wall three pixels beneath me, and remember, maybe it's there, maybe it's not, right? If I'm here, there's no wall beneath me, it's going to send back negative 4. If I'm here, yes, I'm trying to move down, there is a wall beneath me, it's going to send back maybe like, 1,157, who knows, right? Some big number. So if the wall ID is less than zero, that means no wall was there, it's good to move down then, Y plus three. Okay, I move down. Otherwise, I know there's a wall piece. <clears throat> now what I have to do with this wall piece is I basically have to make sure it's not one of these wall pieces, like right here, because technically right up here, I'm on a ladder moving down, but there's also a wall piece three pixels beneath me. There's that wall right behind. So I have to ignore walls that have ladders on top, but stop at walls like this that are just pure wall. And that's what my little routine here is that maybe makes this a little complicated for a beginner, but I think this gives you a little bit of flexibility in the future. So here we go. If there was no wall there, just move. Otherwise, 
let's check if it's the kind of wall that has a ladder overlapping, basically the top of the ladder. So what I do here is I say with wall ID. So this is the wall that was just detected, right? I know we have one. That's why I'm in this else conditioner. So with that wall, I ask it to check at its position, X and Y. Remember, this is the wall running the code. If there's a ladder at that position, and it's going to send back true or false for this line. Well, if it's true, there is a ladder there. It's OK gets set equal to true. And when it's OK is true, you can move. Okay, you know we must be talking about a wall like this that has a ladder at the exact same position. So down is allowed. But when we get here, you'll see I did it wasn't allowed to move down. It's because the else. So if it's okay is true, move. Otherwise, this must have sent back false. There was no ladder there, which means this is a bottom piece, right? Bottom of the ladder. And then I'm running the same sort of code you saw here and in the other tutorials, which was the move to contact. What I need to do is move all the way down so I'm in perfect contact with the wall. So I know I'm going to hit a wall, so let's run our little while loop while not meeting one pixel beneath me a wall, move one pixel down. And that just keeps repeating. Boom, boom, boom. And eventually, we know we hit the wall. And when we do, the loop stops. I know I'm in the perfect position, and I'm off the ladder. On ladder is false. And that's really my code here. Let me just fix that too. I don't like that there. And that's really it. So I know there's some easier ways that maybe cut off flexibility in the future. This way is not too bad. Um, and then just the regular code. But that was my code, right? Special code for climbing down and getting off. Some code for climbing up and getting off. And then just getting on and getting off the ladder, you know, when you encounter a ladder piece. And that's really it. And uh, again, this little piece is if you go off the ladder, then on ladder is obviously going to be false. And there you go. That's the ladder code. And when you see it work here, it actually works okay. Uh, a key to this that I like is that I can jump through the ladder, even if I'm pushing up right now and left as I jump. I don't lock onto the ladder. Now, if you wanted that behavior, Obviously, you can code it to make that one of your conditions for getting on a ladder. You know, I said get on a ladder climbing up. I have to be meeting a wall. You could take this out. And then that's not a condition. Just touching a ladder, you can start climbing up. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked that one. A little uh, trickier. But I think there's a lot to learn there, right? Even if this isn't the most efficient way, uh, you can dissect it, maybe fix this up, make it even better.